హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎంజీ బ్రదర్స్ అనంతపురం అఫీషియల్ డీలర్స్ ఆఫ్ మహేంద్ర మెనీ ఆఫ్ అస్ గెట్ అవర్ వెహికల్స్ వాటర్ సర్వీస్ డట్ కార్ డీలర్షిప్స్ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు మేక్ దెమ్ లుక్ స్పిక్ అండ్ స్పాన్ బట్ వెరీ ఫ్యూ ఆఫ్ అస్ నో దట్ ఈచ్ కార్ వాష్ టేక్స్ అప్ టు మినిమమ్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఫిఫ్టీ లీటర్స్ టు త్రీ ఫిఫ్టీ లీటర్స్ పర్ వాష్ అండ్ వీ ఆల్ నో దట్ ఆఫ్టర్ వాషింగ్ ద కార్ వాటర్ గెట్స్ డర్టీ అండ్ బికమ్స్ వేస్ట్ వాటర్ సో దట్ వీ కెనాట్ గోయింగ్ టు యూస్ ఫర్ ఎనీ ఫర్దర్ పర్పస్ బట్ ఎంజీ బ్రదర్స్ హ్యాస్ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ ఏ నావల్ వే ఆఫ్ రీయూజింగ్ థర్టీ థౌజండ్ లీటర్స్ వాటర్ పర్ డే by teaming with eco stp company which is based of bangalore which declared that its mission to reclaim every drop of waste water naturally so let us speak to aditya machani garu ceo of mgb anantapur in order to find out more about this hi sir good morning oh good morning sir how are you doing sir fine fine thank you sir please <laughs> thank you very much sir thank you so much sir for helping us uh, put this together and showcasing our commitment to the environment and saving water sir actually pleasure is mine and i am really excited to know about this water treatment plant so without being late uh, shall we start sir sure sir yeah sir first of all how did you get the thought for implementing this water treatment plant so we had first seen a uh, video on youtube yeah. which was done by bbc where they showcased how eco stp had actually based their uh, sewage treatment plant on the digestive system of a cow so after seeing this my father mr m raghunath garu he actually felt it was the need of the hour to implement this and uh, save water because that is what we will be leaving for our future generations so it's really great sir <laughs> to get the idea from somewhere and you are going to implement it's really nice thank you thank you so much sir so you are saying all this is natural and you have not used any equipment or heavy machinery to get this process done so can you please explain this in detail sir sure sir so as you can see this is an underground uh, chamber uh, system each chamber actually mimics the digestive system of a cow now each of these chambers have been inoculated with the bacteria which has been uh, isolated from the cow gut okay and this also contains some amount of cow dung so this is a completely natural process uh, which helps in purifying the water now once the water passes through each of these stages which takes around 3 to 4 days yeah. it moves on to the plantation stage so this is the plantation stage right sir yes sir yeah. so this is the plantation uh, these plants are uh, basically canna and colocasia plants so they help remove the npk from the water so npk is nitrogen phosphate and uh, potassium pollutants so all major water pollutants yes so once uh, this water passes through this uh, plantation stage it moves on to the uh, sand filter okay which is under this uh, chamber okay so Now, what is the storage capacity of this one sir the storage capacity of the total uh, it can purify around 35000 liters in a day okay so if you take the entire system it will probably be around 3 to 4 times that capacity okay so the entire water which is stored under this sand filters the underground chambers will be approximately around uh, more than a lakh of liters so after getting that uh, pollutants removed from that plantation stage the water comes into this chamber, sand filter sand filter so here uh, suspended p- particles are all removed and once that happens it moves on to the final collection tank okay now the final collection tank uh, is where we store the water now if you uh, to to explain it further the uh, the washing of the vehicles happens in the morning so throughout the day that entire water is collected in the final collection tank okay in the evening <clears throat> we uh, start the ozonizer as you can see so this ozonizer will help uh, o- so basically ozone is a very strong oxidizing agent yeah now uh, how it works in a swimming pool it helps remove all kind of bacteria it oxidizes any kind of uh, particulate matter smell anything and everything is removed from this uh, by, through this ozonization process and once that happens uh, through the night in the morning we pump it up to the uh, uh, overhead collection tank so from where it is uh, distributed for other you know for, for using in toilets and uh, 
gardening and you know, things like that. So this is the water before the treatment and this is the water after the treatment sir. So we have seen the water physically which looks good but how safe it is for reuse? Okay. So let me tell you that this uh, water is completely safe for reuse for the purposes which I have told you earlier. Yeah. Now this, this water has been tested by an NABL accredited uh, laboratory okay. and which is conforming to all the standards set by the Pollution Control Board. So it is proven that this water is absolutely safe to reuse. Yes. yes. Excellent sir, excellent. But of course it is not fit for drinking. <laughs> of course. These are excellent results sir that what you have achieved. Dedicating such resources for just treatment of water is simply brilliant. What has this project costed you? So, see I think more than the cost, uh, we need to understand that, uh, that water is a very precious resource. See when it is available in abundance, we do not care much for water. But when you go to uh, places where water is very scarce, see it is uh, more you know probably more expensive than even gold or diamonds. So that is how you know we need to consider that condition while uh, you know while we use our water so it is so the uh, the main concept lies in saving water when we have it for our future generation and that is very important and i can you know re recollect there is also a james bond movie which actually uh, where the villain uh, you know is trying to capture the water source of an entire country yeah so so i think you know we can now understand you know that water is a very important resource whether it is available in abundance or it is scarce. So either way we really need to protect our environment by saving water. And even this type of water treatment plant is very suited for our area also because you know that Anantapur district comes under the drought, uh, drought conditions are there. Yes sir, that, so is, that, is, is, absolute, that is absolutely right. Anantapur is actually the second driest place in India after Jaisalmer. Yeah, yeah, sir. So finally, what challenges did you face, sir, uh, during this implementation? So first, I'd like to say that no challenge is too great for uh, saving water. But that being said, the major, I think, uh, issues that we face were, you know, the with the civil works, because this is primarily uh, completely, you know, done under the ground and full of civil uh, construction. So that is what I think, uh, you know, that was our main challenge and in between we had the rainy season also, which actually uh, kind of delayed the works a bit. And in addition to that, we had a, you know, light disruption to our daily routine, but yeah. I think uh, that is nothing really significant. So I think no major hurdles as such. But it's really great initiative, sir, uh, because you are thinking about giving back to the society and to the nature by taking inspiration from you. I hope many these kind of water treatment plants are going to come in our area, which are very uh, uh, useful. I hope so. And also I want to thank you for giving your valuable time and explaining all the things very cleanly. Thank you so much, sir. And I really hope that, uh, you know, what you said happens and many more people actually uh, put up these systems to, you know, save water. And uh, and thank you so much for helping us put together, put this together and uh, showcase our commitment to the environment. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you.